In this video, we're going to learn how to handle string input with spaces in C++. So because we're working with strings, the first thing we'll do is include the string library. Next, we'll declare a string variable called name. And what we'll do in our program is prompt the user to enter in their full name. And we're going to try to store it into the name string and then output the name. So we'll have C out, enter full name colon to prompt the user to enter in their full name. Then we'll have C in and name. So we're going to try to take the string that the user enters and store it into the name variable. Finally, we'll output the name. So we'll have C out, hello, comma, then the name, then an exclamation mark, and then an end line. Let's give this program a try. We'll save, compile, and run this program. And I'll try entering in a first name. We'll have Verat. And I get hello Verat, and it seems to work fine. But it says to enter in a full name. Let's try a name with spaces in it. We'll save, compile, and run the program again. And this time we'll enter in Verat Coley. And all we get is hello Verat. So what's happened is CN is going to stop reading the string at the first space. So how can we handle string input when it has spaces? We can use a function called getLine to help us out in this situation. So instead of CN and name here, we're going to call getLine. We'll have getLine, CN, and name. So we're going to pass the getLine function CN as well as the string name where we want to store the user input. And if we save, compile, and run this version of the program, we can now enter in the full name for at Coley, and we get hello for at Coley, and the entire string has been stored into name. So getLine is going to read the string from user input until the first new line character is encountered, which is going to occur when the user hits enter. So we can use getLine like this to read a string with spaces from user input. Now there are variations on getLine. For example, let's say instead of using a string, we're using a car array to store our string, sometimes called a C style string. So for example, instead of string name, let's say we have car name 100, where this is an array of characters that can store up to 100 characters. We can use a getLine member function of the C in object to actually store a string with spaces using this sort of car array. So here, we'll replace this with cn.getLine, and we pass in the name of the character array, in this case, name, and then the size of the character array. So we could have 100 here, or we could have size of name, where the size of operator is going to give us the size in bytes of this car array name. Either way will work. If we save, compile, and run this version of the program, we can again enter in Verat Coley, and we'll get the correct behavior. We get hello Verat Coley as our output. So these are two very common ways to accept string input with spaces in C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.